Economic Analysis Report of Post-Harvest Losses for Some Fruits This report is prepared to evaluate the causes of post-harvest losses and food waste, to explain the initiatives and successful examples in the prevention of losses, and to analyze the economic losses of post-harvest losses of grape, tomato, cherry and fig. This graph shows the distribution of food waste in developed countries. More than 50% of food waste takes place during the consumption phase, especially in Europe and North America. Therefore, we need to focus on fork consumption in order to reduce post-harvest losses in developed countries. On the contrary, this graph shows the distribution of food waste in developing countries, particularly in Southeast Asia and Sahara Africa. Production, storage and packaging departments account for one-third and three-thirds of post-harvest losses, respectively. Therefore, in developing countries, we need to focus on farm and post-farm processes in order to reduce post-harvest losses. In developed countries, the causes of food losses are divided into two groups. The losses in retail stage and the losses caused by consumers. Some of the losses in retail stage are inappropriate packaging that damages the food, incorrect storage of the products, and damaged, spilled, stained products. On the other hand, some of the losses caused by consumers are sprouting of cereals and root products, fruits whose expire date has passed, and consumers mixing the expiry date with the best before date. Uncertainties between the international institutions regarding post-harvest losses and food waste also make it difficult to give a definite figure. The European Union has been working with international institutions for a long time to establish a common standard on this issue. An important goal for the European Union since 2013 is to prevent post-harvest losses and food waste, depending upon the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The target is to reduce total food waste by 50% by 2030. One of the most striking rates in the comparison of post-harvest losses of four countries is that, the post-harvest loss of grapes in Romania is only 0.1%. The main reason for this is the fact that 85% of the grapes produced in Romania are used in wine and fruit juice production. Tomato is a very sensitive fruit and it has the most post-harvest losses in all four countries. Although Turkey is one of the largest cherry producers in the world, the lack of cold storage, the low level of education of the employees, and the failure of farmers to harvest in time, leads to a high percentage of losses. Finally, the main reason of low post-harvest losses in figs both in Turkey and Spain is that products damaged during the harvesting, are then sold as dried fruit. As a conclusion, the prevention of post-harvest losses is an issue that needs to be urgently solved for both developed and developing countries.